Hello, you're watching Base Shade Highlight, a simple guide to painting miniatures. In this video, I'm going to paint Taskmaster from Marvel United. I've already primed in black with a white Xenothal highlight, so let's get right to it. I'm starting with the orange on the inside of his cloak. It's the hardest to reach area, so by starting here, I won't have to worry about accidentally painting over something else. Lava orange wasn't bold enough on its own, so I added a bit of red. Next, I paint the blue parts of his outfit. I start with cyan blue, but quickly find out that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not sure if I switched to magic blue or mixed it into the cyan blue, but I get a better color and continue with it. Because of the way he's posing, it's difficult to tell how his outfit is meant to look. I've used additional comic pictures for the front, as well as his shield. Now onto the gray. He has two different base grays on him. This will be the lighter of the two. And this is the darker. I quickly hit one spot that I missed earlier, then begin shading with a darkened blue. This thigh gets a fair bit of light, so I adjust accordingly. The cloak took more time than anything on this mini. I used three shades of gray, a light, medium, and dark. I'll be changing between them often while painting, so I'm using my base shade highlight chart to help you keep track.
If I pause it here for a moment, you can see I've roughly blacked in the three shades like so. My general guideline for the rest of him is any part facing upwards gets a light gray, anything facing sideways becomes medium, and anything facing down, or if it's covered, gets a dark gray. Let's take a brief break to paint his face this bone color. Now back to the cloak to blend those regions together. It takes a while, but I keep pushing paint around until I'm satisfied with how they look. Here, I black in the same color scheme on his shield. Time to highlight. I aim for upward facing edges and the top of his hood. I'll be using ivory.
I've spotted a number of places needing touch-ups along the way, and now is a good time to fix them. We're on to the third pass of the cape. With some wet blending, or mixing two colors on the model before they dry, it helps smooth the color transitions. Fur Brown will make up the base color for his leather pouches. What's this guy keeping those things anyway? I'm still using fur brown, just thought I'd mention it again. It's also the base color for the hilt of his sword. The blade is a gray with a not too subtle hint of blue. Then I add more light gray into that mix for the light reflection. I vary adding lighter and darker mixes of that color to add bands onto the sword. His chest strap gets a dark gray. And then a light gray for the buckle.
I'll also highlight the top of his shield. The base gets the same Necromancer Cloak treatment as the rest of the set. What good's Taskmaster without some blue dancing shoes? I like to reuse some colors from my palette on the base to help tie things together, but I don't miss a chance to introduce a new color. A quick teeth whitening is in order. This wash mixture is used to shade all of the browns and oranges. and I use just black wash to shade all of the gray areas. This avoids them looking dirty. I don't get to use it often, but I use blue tone to wash the shield. Lava orange to make up the stripes on his leather pouches. as well as highlight his sword hilt. It's also the base color for his eyes. And I highlight part of the shield. By adding a light yellow, I create this menacing highlight. Looks like I decided he needs whiter teeth. I'm also using this color to create a non-metallic metal highlight for his belt buckle and sword hilt.
Plain light yellow will be the final highlight for the effect. I use more grays to give the chest strap some shading and highlighting. This very fine point pen is what I'll use to make the pupils in his eyes. A dot of ivory creates a light reflection in both eyes. One got a little away from me, so I touch it up with the pen. The final step is edge highlighting the base with light gray. Check out the website in the description down below for a list of all the paints I use and recommend. Here he is complete. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>